uh, there's no cell solvers here, there's no um, um, uh, uh, electricity. We're going to be out of electricity. The men uh, came out to our neighborhood. They said we're not going to have electricity for another two to three days. So um, we're, we're, we're still in the recuperating uh, period. This is going to be a, a major cleanup. This is taking out all of Biltmore Village, uh, high-end stores, restaurants. Uh, people are going to be, they're going to be, we're going to be cleaning up a long time. Uh, yesterday afternoon, the water started to rise and we were told to evacuate. Uh, we kind of stayed here trying to move some of the things around, uh, maybe salvage anything. Uh, we were able to move a few things out, uh, but we, as soon as we got the word that we had to leave immediately because of a breach of a dam, we got out of here and then within like 20 minutes the power was gone. And I mean, this, this was this was a pretty good one there. I've, I've learned a lot of stuff by watching it, but yeah, I ain't never run from the storm there. Uh, when the water got coming in our house, I had my truck parked back, and I know the highest point in this town where it's at, and we just, me and my wife drove around there, and we just sit in the truck and watched everything go on there. I don't know nothing but this place. You know, and it's, it's, you know, it's in my heart, it's in my blood. Uh, my grandfather's the one that founded this place and all like that, so I mean, uh, he used to own the whole town. Him and another guy, and they, you know, they developed it and, and all like that. I mean, my family goes back to the, to the 1800s here in Horseshoe Beach.